caught this. Just want to put it in. Speaking about the launch of the giant, then he said, with patents in place, we are excited to unveil our plans. We already have interest from investors from Europe, Australia, Abu Dhabi, and cities across the U.S. The biggest attraction is that its exhibition can be tailored to individual cities and, and cultures, and the sculpture can be posed in a number of positions to suit the location. So, down here it talks about the spam demic, and basically they're saying that this will increase footfall or foot traffic in the face of the spam demic. And what this tells me is that they're investing in the future of the spam demic that will never end. So this statue is apparently spam demic proof, so to speak, right? And they even have a giant movement, they call it. A social movement. Unbelievable. It involves sustainable living and climate action. And of course, these giant selfies. Which to me sounds like jumbo shrimp. Because if it's all about self and projecting yourself onto this giant, then how much do you really care about the world? People pretend to care about the world because it sounds sexy. It sounds like they're doing something. It's them on a street corner saying, I care about the world. This is the car I drive, and I want everybody to know that I care about the world. But really, they don't. Really, they don't. It says here, the giantess spam demic proof. Even in times of lockdown, customers can scan themselves using an iPad for a fee, upload themselves to become a giant, and share their giant selfie on social media. Visitors to the giant will receive a certificate and become part of the giant movement. So you get to become a giant. You get to become a Nephilim. And ongoing online engagement for the public giant will also present new dimensions in gastronomy and shopping. The team will work with leading chefs, artists, and vendors in each location to ensure that the dining retail experience is imaginative and at the highest level for its customers. The Giants Movement will lead the charge on promoting sustainable living and climate action along with funding programs for the homeless and other philanthropic endeavors. We know what philanthropy is. It's cover for these people to do bad things. So... This is what they're up to, you guys. There's also a 10,000 square foot exhibition space, which will offer an absorbing journey into the world of giants from the realms of legend and mythology, of course. Notice they don't mention Jesus here. And it's a celebration of extraordinary men and women of the city and county. It's located in from its inventors, scientists, and artists to leaders, athletes, and game changers from the past to the present. The giant visitor attraction can be built as a temporary or permanent structure for cultural and commercial use. So, now, there are some individual local articles on this as well that I found that tell a little bit more to the story. This is from Phoenix, Arizona. And Arizona Central giant shape shifting statue. And that gives it away. That talks could be coming to Phoenix. This is dated May 6, 2021. So essentially, <clears throat> on the skin of this thing is what they call programmable features. Okay. So they're going to essentially project different popular figures onto the skin of this thing. Let's look at some of these images. The giant. There's Spider-Man. So, we've heard the word programmable before, have we not? My friend Nicholson, 1968, talked all about programmable matter. Well, this giant is, in effect, a shapeshifter. They're telling you right there. 
shape shifting giants. And what I believe this is about is they're preparing us for blue beam or images projected into the sky that will deceive people into believing that they're seeing aliens or even the Son of God Himself. So, that was pretty much all I had on the Giants. Thanks, you guys, for staying on me about this. Here we go. Because, uh, this will be coming probably Hello. to a theater near I you. I think he says right? it. Now, tomorrow... We're going to be decoding another part of Manifest. Hello. Put together I don't know how I'll... Oh. This screen... 1968. What I believe this is about is they're prepared... Tiered in Manifest on this tarot card. Yeah, there goes the pink card. give them one of the clues to find their death date. And the whole... That's Bam Bam. Journey of... Now, just so they're going to essentially... Is its cover for these people to do bad things. World... This is the car I drive, and I want everybody to know that I care about the world. The number of positions to suit the location. Depending on the location and size of the giant, which is There we variable. go. He mentions Michael. A giant company led by award-winning entrepreneur Patty Dunning is now seeking partners and expressions of interest from international developers who want to attract hundreds of thousands of people to a particular location where footfall has been reduced by the current spam demic. Patty and the giant team are working with the award-winning innovative Berlin-based creative studio and architecture firm Dan Perlman to design the attraction. Now this Patty guy, Patty Dunning, I think he was responsible for getting Michael Jackson to come to Ireland or some or Europe or something like that. So that's what he's known for, this developer and entrepreneur. Speaking about the launch of the giant, then he said, with patents in place, we are excited to unveil our plans. We already have interest from investors from Europe, Australia, Abu Dhabi, and Sydney. Yeah, I got it. Anyway, that's an interesting link, isn't it? Michael Jackson. Now, I saw the tarot card. I didn't watch that one, but <clears throat> it's Johnny Osmond, who was the peacock. And the Lord showed me that the peacock is Bam Bam. And remember the sign, the clue, was Joseph. They're mocking Joseph because Donny Osmond was the peacock. He was one of my crushes and that's how I got there. And he used the wig of Joseph with this horrible, it was a head, like I said. And then the clip was him playing Joseph. But it had to be him in, in jail. So this is part two. It's just a bit of news, but it's very poignant, really, isn't it?